Good evening YouTube. It was all stuttery for a second there. It's Friday. It's hot. It's competition time. I was quite proud of the uh, prizes I did this week. So I'm such a fan of the first one. As you all know, because I never shut up about it. The Olympics and Paralympic Games from 2012. Absolutely awesome. Everyone should have it in their collection. The opening ceremony of London is amazing. You know, Danny Ball directed it all. He's doing the new James Bond film as well. So we'll get the draws out of the way first and talk about some pickups and, of course, the new competition and a little bit about my Facebook today. So for draw one, um, one of my viewers has sent me, sent me a few bits, which you'll see in a minute, but also he sent me a little extra thing, which I do already own and I already have a spare as a competition prize. So both prizes this week, you're going to get an extra bonus. You're going to get a copy of The Killer Inside Me as well, which is Casey Affleck, Jessica Alba. So this is going to be prize one. Yeah? So you're getting a bonus in this one and you're going to get a bonus in the other one. The plane's going over now. So let's get the first prize draw out of the way. As you can see, they're all in there. Nice lots. Good luck to everybody. All right, here we go. What's the bet in the guy who sent me the killer inside me is going to win it back? Have I got one? No, it's two. There we go. There's one. So the rest go on the floor. And the winner of the Olympics, the Olympic Paralympics, and the killer inside me is... Steve Batch. So that's a new name in the old pot. I haven't had that one before. So congratulations, mate. I will contact you on Facebook as soon as possible. We'll put you over there. So I'll tuck it in just so I don't go missing. You know what my luck's like. So well done there. Now, as I said, price two is 300. There you go. Diary of the Dead. And you also get a copy of The Killer Inside Me as well. So three films for you there as well. Now let me just pick up the names about turning off the camera. They all go in there as well. Let's get it shook it up. Quite a few entries this week. I think probably the second best entry amount I've had. So quite happy with that. And here we go again. Good luck everybody. Come on you fucking. There's two there. So I'm just going to. Without looking at the names. I'm going oh, yeah. to have to do that. Here we go. Got one. And the winner is. Ready? Laura Charlton, my god, you've won again. Laura's won again. She's gonna go skippy. That's brilliant. So you've won the 300 Diary of the Dead and the Killer Inside Me, Laura. That's something that's about your third or fourth prize. So well done there. Right. Let's put them to the side. So that's the done. That's well done to the two winners there. Now um I'll, what I'll do, I'll quickly mention next week's prize now. It's two double acts again. Um, one of them I only gave away about three weeks ago, but I found the two films in a really nice set, so I'm giving it away again. District 13 and District 13 Ultimatum, beautiful slipcover, and, ooh, okay, beautiful slipcover. I just think that's a real awesome pack. I mean, I was so tempted to actually swap my two singles for this double pack. But I thought people would appreciate it more. So this is competition one prize for next week, okay? These two films are bloody awesome. Really are up there along Clue Story in the action states. Yeah, really, really, really good. So please enter for that one. And I went totally the other end of the scale for the next one. I went kids galore all the way with this one. Uh, it is with the slipcover. Cats and dogs one and two. The first one is cats and dogs, and the second one is cats and dogs: The Revenge of Kitty Galore. These are bloody funny. All right. Now, just to show you the inside, I think it's like a four disc set. So you've got the Blu-rays and the DVDs. Okay, and the digital codes are in there as well, but I don't guarantee that they'll work. Okay, so two double packs there for your prize for next week. Enter in both if you want to. Enter one if you want to. But that's your prizes for next week. So get your entries in now on Facebook. For anyone who's new to my channel, you must be a subscriber. 
you need to befriend me on Facebook and then send me a message and message saying you want to enter or anything you want to chat about. I'm always here for everybody, okay? So well done to the winners there. Uh, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, eight pickups. Uh, I've still got stuff during the post. I really do. It's uh, getting to be a pain in the arse now. I mean, as everyone hopefully knows, I collect the Marvel figures. They're about a week late at the moment. And they're getting on my tits because they keep taking the money on time, but all the figures keep arriving late. So I'm going to start kicking off about that. Um, in the next few weeks, I'm going to be starting my extra video setup of showing all those figures as well. So that'd be quite good. My first pickup, how I never had this film, is beyond me. If you don't have this in your collection, what the hell are you doing? I mean, I. I'm a pillock for not having it. That simple. Classic film. And my the spices in my head are really getting me going now. Because I'm starting to collect more of the classics now. And the fact that I picked up Rear Window for like 30... I think it's... Breaking it down, it's like 33p. <laughs> Alpha Chick off. Rear Window. That cheap. Yeah. I'm never going to say no to that. I started catching the bug of uh, the stand-up comedians. So... The fact that I picked up Billy Connolly for 50p, the man, brilliant. Uh, he's, he's quite ill now, isn't he? I, I don't know if it's Alzheimer's or Parkinson's or something he's got, but I, I'm not sure he's doing that much touring anymore. Uh, the next five, or sorry, the last five, one of my viewers, we chat quite a bit. Um, his name's Paul, and uh, he was in a CEX store, and he texted me. What I did, I jumped online, checked their stock levels. See what they had, and you know, we were just chatting backwards and forwards. Oh, that's supposed to be good, that's supposed to be good, and that's the way I got really jealous because he picked up um, the Rocketeer still book. I was like, ah, and Remo, Unarmed and Dangerous, he picked up. There's two films that I'll, well, I'll, I'll tell my daughter to get, but um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was fun doing that because see, it's like interacting, I'm like being someone's wingman while, I'm, while they're shopping, it was quite funny. But he, um, he said, Oh, which one of these do you like? Basically, he picked them up for me. I transferred him the money, and he's posted them to me. So I did a bit of shopping on the side. It was quite fun. So the first one I picked up was the Tree of Life with Brad Pitt. Never seen it. Heard good things, but we'll see. See if I like it. An absolute sodden classic. I saw this twice in the cinema. Some may argue that it's not the most classic thing in the world, but picked up Van Damme Time Cop. I saw the trailer of this next one. And I thought quite a good premise to it. Uh, you know, not only lots of big backdrops and lots of different sets and everything, but mine. Like the idea of that one, so I got it. Another one, believe it or not, that I saw three times in the cinema back in the day. I still didn't have the mask with Jim Carrey. I mean, back in his heyday, that one. And this last one, I've never seen this film, but. For years and years. I mean, back when I was 18, like, yes, this was in my local video shop that I worked in on VHS. And weird, you know, never watched it. Look, crap, what should I do? Should I ever watch it? The Beast Within. I thought, I've got to get it. Look at that cover. Tacky hell. So, ain't more pickups. So, I was quite happy with that. And I've gone through my own little milestone today. Um, as you can see, I have lots and lots of films, yeah? But I've just finished double stacking the second of my bookcases. So just those two bookcases, there's over 1,600 in. I'm seriously running out of room. I mean, yes, I have another one. And yes, I have a more. And there's more than you can see there as well. But... I, I'm seriously going to run out of room at some point. I think with the space I have at the moment, I'd probably fit about 3,600. But if I redo everything, I can fit about 7,000. But that leaves me no space for the PC in that. But that'll still take a while. My hope is to get to 3,000 before Christmas. I'm at 2,819. So I'm getting there. And I'll, I'll be pretty bummed out if I don't reach 3,000 by Christmas. But I, I'll do my best. I still have viewers saying they're going to send me stuff. So, as always, really appreciate that. I try to keep this video under 10 minutes. We're just about getting there, so, so I don't bore you guys. But I hope the weekend's not too hot for all of you. Uh, well done to all the competition people as well. 
anyone looking for anything, get on my Facebook page. I've, I've just posted the skyscraper um, covers as well because they've, they've literally just uh, popped up on the net. Um, no release date for it yet, but as always, when you look it up, it says 31st of December. Nothing will ever come out 31st of December. I don't think that's going to hit us till at least February, but that's me because it's only just hitting the cinema now. Um, but you can pre order it on Zoom. I think you can pre order it on Zavi as well. Uh, I'm sure uh, HV is going to get the Steelbook exclusive, but I haven't double checked that yet. I will do. Um, anyone else who is looking on my Facebook page, Fraggle Rock Complete Series, they just announced it for September in America. Please bring that out over here because, oh, that's a classic. That's my childhood all over the place, that is. Believe it or not, it's the 35th anniversary, I think, of the Fraggle Rock. That's just freaky. Okay, I'm always available for people. Any questions you got, any comments, if, you, if I'm starting to bore you, tell me and I'll change things up a bit. But enjoy your weekend. We won't be watching the football, really, will we? So, hope you enjoy your weekend, guys. Take care.